Okay, let's move on and let me welcome on board now Vishwas Patel, the joint MD at Infibeam Avenue is joining in on the show right now. Remember, they've got the final authorization as an online payment aggregator. Let's try and understand how exactly does this move impact them. Um, Vishwas, hi. Great to have you today on ET Now. Thanks for taking the time out. Help us understand, you know, what is the importance of this RBI authorization and how does life change for you and your business? So, good morning. Uh, uh, life in, uh, makes it better because there's an affirmation from RBI uh, for, uh, you know, 24 years of compliance, regulatory, uh, all the new standards uh, that RBI is so the final license uh, uh, gives us that authority now to even aggressively more roll out our payment uh, uh, gateway solutions across the country. So this final, uh, the saying uh, today, even yesterday, RBI governor said that uh, 6,000 transactions per second is what is happening right now. So it's our now motive that how can we take it up to 12,000 transactions a second in a country. So uh, this license helps the company to now more aggressively roll out uh, go deeper into the hinterland to offer more payment solutions, more payments, and make digital payments more affordable and more possible. Uh, so would you have done any sort of back of the envelope calculations? What kind of vo volume growth can we actually, um, you know, uh, anticipate because of this? We're already at 4 lakh crores a year processing volumes, right? And... Uh, and today, if you see from an India perspective, broad perspective, only 27% of the transactions are digital. So there's a huge headroom to grow to make digital possible. And with our platforms with payment story, uh, we can really merge it up for the merchants to be onboarded very securely, very fast, and give them end-to-end -end solutions. So from that perspective, we are already given guidance. Uh, we are already growing at 100% year on year. Uh, next year guidance has also been given that we might uh, will take it up to around five lakh crores. Uh, that's uh, that's the kind of growth that we are looking at, and I think with this license mm -hmm. and uh, uh, a lot of other things, headwinds uh, uh, to grow, and with the support uh, of the Digital India Mohim by the government, I think it's 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 a matter of time where how we can grow more faster. Right, so from 4.7 lakh crores to taking it up to around five, five and a half is the immediate goal. And then going further to 10 lakh crores in the next couple of years. That's the whole strategy, how we can build more platforms, how we can onboard merchants more uh, electronically, safely, with under the RBI rules, uh, with full KYC. So we already set the gold standards in onboarding. And if you've seen the number of merchants that we have onboarded on scale, with full compliance review. So I think uh, the growth is fantastic. Uh, we intend to keep on that growth rate. Uh, this uh, permission from RBI, does this also involve that you can start accepting deposits or that permission is not there or you're not getting into that business? This is just a payment aggregator license where we can provide payment gateway solutions. So all the money across all the merchants move into our escrow account as designated by R uh, RBI. And from there, the money flow uh, goes out. Uh, the lending business uh, is something that we are still not started. We have started something called Express Settlement, where we are at uh, more than $500 million run rate. But uh, full-fledged lending solutions with deposit acceptance is something little far away for us. Uh, we have more focus right now on the front side that is building the platforms that merchants want, that they can be onboarded easily. The payments part is what uh, we're already doing very well, which we got this aggregator license. The finance part is something that will scale up in the coming months as the regulatory and uh, other, other things from RBI becomes more clear, simpler, and, you know, clear is different from let's say normal UPI service which uh, some of your peers are offering how would you be different I mean why should I come on your platform when I'm already using UPI services and I'm satisfied with it so uh, UPI is a debit mechanism to a bank account right so for us we offer UPI also 
right? So for us, when if you want to debit your bank account, it's just not UPI. There are debit cards. There are MasterCard, Visa debit cards. There are credit card. There is uh, net banking, which is huge because UPI has a transaction limit. A net banking for corporate payments for say uh, 60 lakhs or 80 lakh rupees for a single transaction for corporate tax payments is something that is possible to net banking. And we are the only ones uh, who are connected to 100 plus banks, uh, core banking solutions. So from that perspective, in a corporate can pay uh, real time taxes uh, of huge transactions to net banking. So that's another debit mechanism. There is a MasterCard and Visa card debit cards also, which we accept. And that's just one part on the debit part. There is whole huge of credit. So if, if out of 6,000 transactions that are happening per second in India today, 4,800 are debit mechanisms. The other 1,200 are the different options of credit, wallets, and other things. So from a payment aggregator perspective, as a merchant, you would like to offer all kinds of payment options. It's just not a UPI. You would also want if the customer comes in with a credit card, you're not going to tell him, please go away. We just accept UPI. So it's an all encompassing. That's why a payment aggregator who offers 100 plus payment options to the for the merchant to offer to its customers to accept payments. So that's very crucial. So, uh, you know, uh, giving an all encompassing payment gateway with a lot of front end tools with easy plugins, uh, ready made shopping cards, payment links, QR code, and now even our tap pay, where a merchant can just download our app and start accepting credit cards by just tapping uh, the customer's card on his phone. So, this kind of new gen technology is what the aggregators like us get in the picture. Parallel, who would be uh, your peer in this case? Our peers in this case is Buildesk, uh, Razorpay, PayU. So these are the five or six guys uh, major into the PA business. Now I understand the model. Appreciate your time. Glad you could join us. Meanwhile, the news from the market, IT is started.